What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> this your boy jacking off. Not a for that Bulls City do ball. We in a fucking building yet again. All right, look. I got to give Dave Caldwell some credit. Dave Caldwell has had a very good draft, especially especially last night on day two. Like, say what you want about Dave Caldwell. I call him the most bipolar GM in history. But um, one thing he is very, like, say what you want about him, but one thing he is very good at is finding gems in the later rounds. Like, and I think he found some today. Well, last night, my bad. Um, I'll start with LaVisca Shanoff, receiver out of Colorado. Boy, is a fucking animal, bro. Like, I love LaVisca Shanoff. I, I had eyes on him coming out. Like, I think this dude is the perfect compliment number two receiver to Chark. Like, he reminds me a lot, he reminds me a lot of... Anquan Bolden slash Larry Fitzgerald. He uh like he's got the physical frame and um size and physicality and style of Anquan Bolden, and he's got Larry Fitzgerald ha hands and uh, dreadlocks. <laughs> nah, I think, but yeah, I, I think my boy is gonna be a beast. Like, and he, it gives Ben Shu another target, and it balances out the offense a little bit. Cause you look DJ Chark, even though he's big and can make physical catches. He's primarily a speed and big play guy. D.D. Westbrook out of the slot, primarily a speed guy. Visca Chenault's a bit a possession receiver that can make a catch in traffic. I think the perfect compliment. So, um, I don't know where this leaves Chris Conley. I don't know if they keep him around and, because you know, I like Chris Conley, but um, on the final year of his contract, I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be out. I don't know if he gets traded, if there's a good enough offer for him. But, like, I don't know, man. But, um, I'll tell you what. I, we got a lot. I think we, I think now, we, re, I think we did need to give Gardner Minshew another weapon. I think we gave him a good one here. I would have done, I would have done, if I was, if it was me, I would have done, I would have gone Judy and then took Christian Fulton because I really like Christian Fulton. I think that's the one good pick the Titans made, made this entire draft. So, um, yeah, I'd let, but yeah, I, but at the end of the day, if CJ Henderson, if CJ Henderson, if that Gators curse thing don't happen to him, I think, you know, I think we're in good shape. I think this has been a very, I think it's been very good. And speaking of very good, boy, Devon Hamilton, I watched tape on this dude. This dude's a fucking animal. He's our fat boy that we need at D, D tackle. Like, we address the need. We I gotta say, we address the need of getting better at get it better at stopping the run. Like this dude, this dude manhandles people. Like this dude is manhandling guards. He's actually a pretty decent pass rusher too. So like, I think and you know he easily could have gone in the second round, bro. So I think we got a good one here. Like, I think he's going to start right away. Like, so, we did, I still, I still would like to have Darius back to have them two as our two defensive tackles, but I think that, I think, I think dude's a stud. I think we're going to, I think we're going to be all right. We're going to be better at stopping the run this year. And, um, unfortunately though, I do got to give credit, I do got to give credit to the Texans and Colts. They actually had a hell of a draft, both of them. Like the Colts getting Michael Pittman, they got another dude to throw to besides Ty. Like Michael Pittman's a stud. Like I think he's a good compliment to Ty Hilton and Jonathan Taylor, who's my favorite running back in the draft. Oh yeah, man! Shout out to Nick Fargo, bro. Like I was in his Discord chat last night, and we was talking to. There was a Colts fan in there. I can't think of the dude's name, but um. When you didn't hear him the whole night until Jonathan Taylor got drafted. When Jonathan Taylor got drafted, he was like, "What the fuck is this shit? I don't want this asshole." <laughs> y'all fucking fell out. My man did not want Jonathan Taylor, which I don't understand. He's good. Like I know y'all got Marlon Mack, but fuck, that's gonna be a problem. That's why I love, really like the Hamilton pick though, because those are two physical runners, and um, that's gonna help out a lot. And with Derrick Henry and David Johnson too. And the Texans, man, 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 the Texans, fuck y'all. Like, really, fuck you. Because, um, 
I really wanted Ross Blacklock. They took him before we could draft him. Even though I'm real happy with Shannon and then later getting Hamilton. But still, I really like Blacklock. I think he's a good player, so fuck you there. And then really fuck you. Y'all took my boy Jonathan Grenard out of out from my Florida Gators, man. Like fuck. Y'all have to make me hate this motherfucker now. Like, god damn. Like, I knew we weren't gonna draft him because, you know, we got chasing, but God damn it, why do you have to go there? And shout out to my, and really shout out to all my get, Gators getting drafted last night. Um, Zaniga, I think, I think is how you say his his name, went to the Jets. And Van Jefferson, shout out to my boy Van Jefferson. Van Jefferson, I hope you burn the shit out of Jalen Ramsey every day in practice and there's some fucking video of it. Fuck Jalen Ramsey, I hope you make him his bit. Your, I hope you make him your bitch in practice. Like, good for, like, good for him, man. But, um, and then the Titans. <laughs> Yo, have y'all noticed these cockroaches? Every pick we've made, like, every pick they've made has been, like, a half ass counter to what we've drafted. Besides the CJ Henderson pick, because they didn't have two first round picks. We draft Chase, and what do they do? They draft this fat fuck guard out of, um, out of Georgia, who sucks, and Chasen can just run around because the motherfucker can't move right. And then, um, we draft Chanel, they draft Christian Fulton, even though I do really like Christian Fulton, I think they're getting a stud there at cornerback, which they need because their cornerbacks are ass. And then, <laughs> and then we draft Devon Hamilton, and they draft some unknown motherfucker running back from Appalachian State, whose strength is running to the outside. Like, oh shit, I don't know if Derrick Henry can run him over. We gotta get somebody to run to the outside. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Like, y'all think you were, like, y'all think you going to the Super Bowl. You got me fucked up. Allen, bro, that tackle ain't, ain't Jack Hockland. He ain't gonna save Tranny Hill from Jason. And, tra and Trailer Trash Luan ain't gonna save fucking Tranny Hill from Josh Allen either. So... Y'all might, uh, prepare to get disappointed, especially since you didn't get another receiver to go with A.J. Brown, because y'all don't have no other receivers since Tajay Sharp left. And don't even try to tell me about Corey Davis. That motherfucker sucks. And Adam Humphreys, the fuck, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. But anyways, that's it, that's all. Dave Caldwell, good job. Let's get some O-line help. We got a lot of fourth-round picks. I think we're going to go heavy on O-line. Maybe get a complimentary back to Fournette, which I don't think he's getting traded now. Like, I think that was all smokescreen bullshit. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know, bro. We'll see. So, but I'm excited to see what we do, how we close out this draft. But it's been a pretty good one so far. So, that's all. It's your boy jagging off. I'm out. Duval till we die. Go Jags. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to do reactions on day three. Like, time and that shit was fucked up last night. I'm just going to go through everybody once the shit's over. But, uh, anyway, I'm out.